Hello guys, Toby here. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Sigma 18-35mm lens together with an A6300 or A6500 on a gimbal. All you need is a quick release system. The base plate should be really long like 70mm or 2.7 inches. The reason is that the camera is really front heavy with such a big lens, the adapter adds additional weight. So you have to place the camera really far back, otherwise it's not going to work. I know there are other solutions out there, like using a camera cage, but that's basically just making the camera heavier without adding any additional functionality to the gimbal setup. But this quick release blade makes the setup way more flexible. You can easily change the battery or the SD card. I bought my quick release system at Amazon Germany and that particular product isn't sold in America or in, in the UK. So I'm going to put similar products in the description and also I'm going to do a video annotation. So just check the links and go on your preferred Amazon website. Such a quick release blade is really cheap, so I really can recommend this to every gimbal user. I would also suggest to use a lens holder if your gimbal has one. It makes the whole system way more stable by preventing the long lens to wobble that much. But just to clarify, this setup is far from perfect. Panning from left to right seems pretty normal and it works flawlessly. But when you start to tilt the camera up and down, you are going to see the problem. The camera is just too far in the back. It's almost touching the motor behind it. If you don't need to tilt your camera heavily for a shot, you are fine. Otherwise you're going to need to look for a better solution or a stronger gimbal. Especially when you reset the gimbal to move in the default position, you can see that the system is wobbling quite a long time. Here is a view from the top. You can see that everything is pretty narrow. In about 5 minutes I created some test shots. As you can see, the results are ok, but not perfect. I already have quite a lot of experience with this gimbal, so I know that I can get better results. But if I really need an aperture of 1.8, I can use this setup. But I wouldn't recommend anyone to buy this lens just to use it on a gimbal. I hope that this video helped you with your setup. If you have any additional questions, just write me a comment. I'm going to publish a video review of this gimbal pretty soon. It will contain a lot of footage that I recorded at my channel build trip this year. So stay tuned for that. See you soon.